What's going on guys? It's Cody. Welcome back to the Pacers Gaming YouTube channel. Hope you're having a great day. In this one, we're gonna talk about dunking in 2K20. Um, how to dunk, the different variations of dunks, how to equip different dunks, and the level you have to have to use certain animations in this game. So I'm in my court, let's jump right into it. If you just wanna do a regular dunk in 2K20, you don't care uh, what it looks like or what animation you want, all you have to do is go at the rim, hold right trigger, and hold X. So that's going to let the computer decide which dunk uh, is going to come from your player. It could choose a variety of animations depending on the situation in the game and what animations you have equipped on your player. So that's first, just hitting X, simple, hold right trigger, easy enough, right? The second one, you've seen it, we talked about it, it's that hop step gather dunk where you tap X once and then you hit X again after the gather and hold right trigger on that second tap. So I'll show you again here. Tap X once, hold it with right trigger and X again, and there is the hop step dunk. All right, so there's two versions. First one, simple X and right trigger. Then we have the hop step gather dunk. And then next we have the Euro step dunk. Now some people in our Euro step video said you couldn't do the Euro step dunk in 2K20, but you can. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. First, we wanna get into the lane with our left stick and then use our right stick and flick it opposite of ball hand. As soon as we see the Euro, then we hold X and right trigger at the same time to get the dunk. Now, with those two dunks, the hop step and the Euro, you'll probably see more success uh, the better driving dunk you have. So for slashers and bigs, uh, and play shots, you'll probably see a higher success rate and it'll feel easier to perform inside the game too. Now I'm on my offensive threat point guard so I don't have a high driving dunk and therefore can't equip many of the flashy animations, but we'll still talk about uh, how to use the right stick and then we'll go into my animations and, and talk about those as well. So first, playing at the highest level, if you're on a fast break or you're moving through traffic, Using the right stick, when you push up, that gives you a two-hand dunk, okay? So if you're on a fast break, you don't wanna get blocked, uh, usually right stick up, and of course holding down right trigger is going to give you a two-hand dunk straight ahead, simple, not flashy, but it's gonna get the job done and won't let you get blocked the majority of the time. Next, this makes a whole lot of sense if you hold right trigger while going to the basket and left on the right stick, that's going to give you a left-handed dunk. So if you're driving down the left side of the court and you need that left-handed dunk, highly recommend go ahead and use your right stick instead of just hitting X and hoping you get a left-handed dunk. Now, as you can imagine, it's the same thing on the right side. So if you're shielding a defender who's on your left shoulder and you wanna go up and bang on him with the right hand, all you need to do is hold right trigger and right stick to the right. Okay, and then we have down on the right stick. Now, in, in past 2Ks and in 2K20, down on the right stick gives you the most flashy animations you have equipped on your player. So again, on my point guard as an offensive threat, I don't have many flashy animations. Actually, I don't have any equipped right now. So you won't really be able to see them, but um, I just wanna let you know, if you hold down right stick when dunking with the right trigger, uh, you will get flashy animations. It does look cool. You can probably make some highlight plays with it, but you need to be aware that you're going to get blocked quite often as well. You'll, you'll cock it back a lot. You'll be doing windmills, um, and it's really easy to block in all game modes. So comp players beware. Be very careful if you're using down on the right stick when trying to dunk. Okay, let's take a look at animations now and see what dunks are available in 2K20. If we go to my player appearance, you already know, down into the animation store as always. Remember, with quite a few of these animations, you have to buy them with VC before you can equip them. So make sure you go to my animation store first before you try to equip anything. So if we go to, we're in signature animations down to NBA dunks and layups. And then of course we're talking about dunks. So here you see I have uh, quite a few of the rim grazers. Again, nothing fancy 
but I have these equipped. They're already bought on my player. Also the basic one-handers um, and a couple others here I have owned and equipped. Nothing fancy, but as you can see, as we go down, we have some under basket and big man uh, dunks. They're locked for me. You can see as we go over every animation that it says at the bottom, required standing dunk 40. So you can look through all of these animations. Here we go, under basket rimples, required standing dunk 65. So it's easy to scroll through and see uh, where you need to level up your player to unlock these different animations. Okay, and as we scroll further down, you're gonna be able to start seeing, you know, front clutches, uh, back scratching rim hangs. There we go on the right side. You can see it's a little bit crazy, but watch how he cocks it back. Those are the dunks that are going to get you blocked more often than not. So even though I have these unlocked, I'm not going to buy them and I'm not going to equip them because I like playing at a competitive level. And sometimes if I go up for a dunk and I do hold down on the right stick or hit X, it could trigger one of those animations and get me blocked in a really important part of the game. While some of these are okay, I highly recommend looking through the animations and really think to yourself, do I wanna play at a high level and take a chance of getting blocked? Or am I trying to make a montage and, and have some amazing clips and have some posters? Both are fine. I think it's really up to you uh, what, what you wanna do. But as we scroll through, you know, there are tons of packs this year. Like I said, there are NBA players you can choose from for those styles. Cradle dunks, windmills, you name it, it's in 2K20. So have at it. Uh, would love to hear what your favorite dunk pack is and, and what you use uh, this year as well. Another thing to note, if you go into your animation store, you can also scroll down to park dunks and layups. And they have a couple different crazy park dunk animations too. So if, if you're interested in doing some crazy, look at that, Dunkenstein, we have High Riser, uh, some really awesome animations. But again, beware if you're trying to play at a competitive level because these could get blocked very easily. So just have that in mind, um, but, but definitely fun, definitely some highlight plays in 2K20. Now, once you've bought the dunks you want, whatever animation packs you want from the animation store, go back to my player appearance in the menu and click on my animations and I'll show you where to equip these new dunk animations. Here we go, we scroll over to the third column, dunks and layups, and then look, I don't know, you probably have 15 to 20 spots for all the different dunk packs you've bought. Here's the ones I have available to equip. And you can also buy those alley-oop packs that we saw in the park layup section, excuse me, park dunk and layup section and then also contact dunk animations as well. You can equip those right here. And then next, if we scroll over, there's the park dunks and layup section. So if you want to buy park dunks, you come to this section, they'll, uh, they'll show up here. Obviously, I don't have any park dunks bought or equipped, but if you do purchase them, you can go into here and equip them. And it looks like you have just as many available spots uh, for park dunks and park alley-oops um, in 2K20 for your animation. Thanks for tuning into this video. A lot more content in 2K20 coming soon. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.